Yeah, c'est pas casse, ton match disappear. Yeah, disappear. Welcome to Square Talk. Today we are in the middle of Harare, where in we are having the Kwenga Forum, hashtag Kwenga Town Hall. People are coming through here to understand what is this indomitable Kwenga device that we call Kwenga. How has it changed people's life? So inquiries are going to come through. Those that have applied, they also walk away with their Kwenga. And some are going to have an instant Kwenga here at Athenium Town. Athenium Hall. All this is done. Hashtag financial inclusion. People have been failing to do financial transactions due to shortage, shortages in cash. But with the Kwenga, it has come up with a cashless payment solution that everyone in the market is so eager to have. And the people that are going to congregate and hear all the issues around Kwenga, they are clamoring for their own because it has changed people's lives not in the way that they do transaction, but in terms of employment, in terms of understanding financial transaction. Out of all the 100% maybe transaction that are done at Stuart Bank, 90% of them are now done under hashtag digitization process. And Kwenga, it's one way or one channel that has changed people's lives. And in the process, many are coming through to apply for Kwenga. We don't only believe in people that are banking with the Stuart Bank, Everyone else that has got a business that they are doing, we are able to assist them and come up with a way of accepting a payment solution under the hashtag universal banking. One of the things that we have noted is that for a lot of business people, uh, there is nothing as painful as someone walking to your business wanting to make a payment and then you've got no resource or device to accept that payment. Because the truth be told, there is very limited physical cash in Zimbabwe. And most of us, especially including me, receive our salaries electronically through a transfer. So how then can a business person like yourself expect me to come to your shop and pay with cash? So in other words, what is important is if you want my money, you need to have a device that allows you to take my money. So it is on the back of that background that we decided to get into an innovation hub and actually come up with a product that we thought was revolutionary. You will recall that traditionally in Zimbabwe, there had been what we call the traditional point of sale, which is the very big point of sale device, which is very archaic and old. And also, it is very expensive. For a bank to acquire that device, it costs about 650 to about $1,000 per device. Now that's a huge capital outlay. If there were cows, Langara is out. So the banks could not continue to actually invest in that because we also know in Zimbabwe that Forex is limited for you to be able to actually get those devices. But we understood that the business people have a problem and they actually want to take payments from people who are receiving their salaries, whether in their cards or in their bank accounts, etc. So therefore, there was a problem between these expensive devices and the business people needing to acquire transactions or accept transactions, electronic transactions. And what we then did is we came up with an innovation which not only spoke to that issue, but also spoke to, for example, Bla Jimmy, who's at the corner of Tongogara, who's selling newspapers on behalf of Zip Papers. You will know for Bla Jimmy there, for a paper of $1, his profit is probably less than $0.08. Cents. This is the D220 device that we launched on the 26th of January. Now, this Quenga device is very portable, as you can see. I'm sure as I was standing here, you all could not tell I was carrying the device. Actually, not to say a waka pega suit. So the first thing we thought of is let's empower the merchant. Let's empower Blagin 
by allowing him on his own without having to call a tapera at the bank who might be having his lunch and says, just eat after lunch. But instantly go onto your device, go onto the portal and be able to say, liquidate my funds. And instantly they're available to you. And instantly. I think there's going to be my colleague who's going to talk about the, some of the um, developments that are happening in Zimbabwe in terms of card cloning and fraud and etc. And he's going to share more details. Now there are two cards operating at the same time. You find that a client will come with a steward bank card, but the information in that card belongs to a net bank client. After having done that, the fraudsters are then the most important thing for the fraudsters is to access cash. So, what do they do? They can go and purchase household TVs and so on for resale. But now that there are cameras, for example, TV sales and hire, it will be easy to link or to arrest the fraudsters. What do they do? That is where I come in now. They target us, our merchants, our big business partners. Why? We have a facility, swipe into Google Cash on all post machines, on all Quenga machines for Stuart Bank. And that is the easiest way for fraudsters to access cash. What are our expectations to you, our merchants? Be very careful of clients who frequent your, your, your shops to do swipe into Google Cash for high values, for high amounts. Today I come with a Stuart Bank card, tomorrow I come with a Net Bank card, tomorrow I come with a, a, a Caps card, or I do swipe into cash using three cards. Be observant, these are fraudsters. Under normal circumstances, don't expect a client to be having five different cards and doing swipe into cash. I came here simply to say from the bottom of my heart, and that of course of everybody that I represent, we do not take the fact that you have come here on a cold morning lightly. We do not take the, we know that you are here because there is a solution you're looking for. And we hope that we will be able to give you that solution. They call me Mai Kwenga. That's my new name. So I've got a slogan that I have. I'm sure everyone knows about Kwenga. So when I say Kwenga, you say Stuart Bank. And when I say Stuart Bank, you say Kwenga. I know Google don't know her, but I'm getting more relaxed, Abichan. Kwenga! I'm Google don't know her, but I'm getting more food. Kwenga! Stuart Bank! Stuart Bank! Thank you so much for coming. Nas, apana nuenda sina kwenga. Pachirungu tinoti. Pachirungu Tinoti will be quengering today, so no one is going to go out without a quenga. So I hope boy and Kwana, copy of ID, proof of residence, nema passport photos in you. In those type, we are taps furnitures. Doshansa quenga and I try to amuna match, but so far we have not had to run advantage. My sales are going to be very good. My sales are going to furniture. So last year, when I did my sales, they have to run a transaction, not transact, not transfer my sales. I'm going to try to get my sales. I'm going to advantage about customer. I'm going to try to get my sales. 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 I'm going to In that way, Mr. Tambura and Dr. Gamreo, and the net and as a general dealer, a butchery and the grinding mill. So, I wish you a chance to see you within the next few years. In half time, you within two hours. My customers are going to be in the same way. So, I wish you a chance to see you within the next few years. But business wise, 
It is done and dusted here at Athenium Hall where you have heard from Kwenga users including steward being experts, Dr. Lanz included in that conversation. This is what Kwenga has changed people's lives positively for that matter in terms of employment, in terms of accepting cash, cash payments as we have heard from these people. It is up to you to visit any person who is using Penga and start transacting. Stress if a customer disappears, disappears.